Okay, this is the first of a series of lessons on the Trebuchet project. Uh, this project is going to involve several different CAD files and CAD drawings. Uh, I want to make sure we all have these saved in the correct location. So if you follow me to your My Documents folder, at this point everybody should have a folder with their last name that says IT. might have the period associated with it. If not, take a moment to create that folder. Within that folder, I want you to create a folder that is your last name, first initial, and trebuchet. And you can copy the spelling right there if you can't spell it. And I put 2015 because I have a couple other ones from past years and we've switched to SolidWorks. So once you've created a folder to keep all this stuff in, we're good to go. Next, we want to open up. Uh, SolidWorks which is in the CAD CAM folder on your desktop and you can come down here to SolidWorks. I've already opened up my version. Once SolidWorks opens up you're going to come straight in and go to New and you're going to select a new part. Uh, before we begin working on that part go ahead and hit OK and it should look like this. You're going to go to this tab for options and go to document properties. I want to make sure that you are um, set up your units in inch, pound, and seconds. So click the units button and make sure this little radio button is selected. All right, and under um, general for doc, I'm sorry, document properties, uh, drafting standard, we're going to um, put in ANSI. All right, so ANSI, and then units, inches, and we're good to go. All right, um, I like to use uh, my plane, so I'm going to turn my front plane on, make it visible, and I'm going to put a sketch right on my front plane. I can do that by grabbing the sketch and clicking on the front plane and saying sketch, or I could just come to sketch and or front plane rather, and then right click and hit the sketch option. Either way, um, we're now drawing on the front plane. This is my origin, which I also like to use. Um, so we can we can uh, use that once we get started with our first part. First part we're making is um, going to be the lower beam, and this part is going to be best created with a square that starts in the origin. I'm going to drag out, and then I'm going to grab my smart dimensions and make it one half inch by one half inch and that's it. Now we gotta give it a length. So I'm going to go to features. I'm gonna make sure that this sketch is selected and I'm gonna go to extruded boss. Now the length of the lower beam is 22 inches so I'm just going to type in 22 inches, hit OK, and check the box, and we are done with the first part. Pretty simple. Uh, however, we haven't saved it, so that's going to be our next step. We're going to go to File, going to go to Save, and you want to find your IT folder and your Trebuchet folder, and you're going to call this like everything in here is going to be your last name, first initial, and this is the lower beam. Okay. Now, because we're using a computer here, and we have parts that are very similar to this, um, we're going to just do a save as so that we don't have to draw it again and we're going to change the name of it. It's not going to change the one that we put in our folder, it's going to actually create a new one. So we're going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to call this one our um, Side Rail Cross. So I'm going to leave my last name first initial and type in Side Rail Cross. Now the part is not identical, so we're going to edit the extrusion. If you come over to the Boss Extrude, and right click and go to edit feature. The only thing that's different about this is the length of the extrusion. It's five inches. Alright, and I'm going to hit OK. 
check yes and make sure that at the top of your screen it says your last name side rail cross and then just hit save we've now created two parts from the same uh, drawing all right pretty easy so far we're going to keep rolling and we're going to create the sling excuse me we're going to create um, the spar next so just like we did last time we're going to go to file go to save as change this from notice that we have two items in our trebuchet folder already we're going to change this now to um, be called spar and hit save we need to edit that extrusion again so I'm going to right click edit the extrusion the length of the spar is 9 inches hit OK and now we have our spar this part is going to require a hole there are several ways to put the hole in here um, we're going to do it using a sketch and an extruded cut so I'm going to grab the sketch uh, tab select my sketch option I'm just going to select the surface here um, for where I'm going to add my hole um, and now I'm going to hit sketch you'll notice a new sketch comes up uh, if I want to orient that perpendicular so I'm looking at it straight on then I'm going to grab my circle command and click and drag grab my smart dimension and the diameter of this hole is going to be 930 seconds so 9 divided by 32 now I need to give it a location and the hole is going to be um, grab my smart dimension Oop, I had it the center of the hole to the edge is going to be 5 eighths of an inch 5 divided by 8 and the center of the hole to the side is going to be 1 quarter of an inch alright so whenever you have a hole you're going to have a uh, size and two location dimensions um, so that we can position it correctly all right, once we're done with that, we can finish our exit our sketch. Go right to features. We're going to go as an extruded cut this time. And we're going to, the distance um, is through all. Hit OK. And we have our hole. So once again, this is the spar. So I'm just going to go to file and go to save. All right, that wraps up this lesson. Um, we're going to get started with another one in just a bit.